so now that we've created the one-time notification flow, how the heck do we send it, right? Let me show you behind the scenes, over my shoulder, how to send a broadcast through ManyChat with the one-time notification tag. So stay tuned for the next video. Hey, my name is Ana Andrea, and in this channel, you will be learning about chat marketing, customer service tips and tricks, neuromarketing, and more techie tutorials of my favorite tools. Enjoy the next video. So how do we do that? We go to broadcasting. Boop, boop. We're going to go to broadcasting. And we are going to create a new broadcast. Woo! And or we can create or we can broadcast from a flow. We can create this flow separately. So we can click here. Let's see. And I'm impatient and I click too many times. And hello, like we're all impatient, apparently. So, anyways, uh, here we go. Um, we select a flow, right? If we've created a flow that we're going to send in the broadcast for the Facebook live, in this case, I don't have a flow yet. So we're just going to click on new broadcast. We're going to select that. I want to start my broadcast with messenger. Okay. Ta -da! Now we create the message that we're going to send. So we click on add text. We go here to content type. We select the one-time notification topic, Facebook Live. And you see there where it says, this is a one-time notification topic. It will be delivered only to subscribers who early accepted the request for it. Make sure that not, not that notification content matches the text of its requested to avoid complaints. Okay, make sure. And description, it says add in settings. You can add a description on the settings of the topics if you need to do so in case you're outsourcing this to someone and they need to create a whatever. I don't know. It, it helps you for um, mostly organization purposes. So we don't need that. So we're going to click there. And since we already selected the Facebook Live, that's the one I want. And I'm going to add the message. Hey, the day is here. We are going live in five minutes. Join us here in this link. So recommendation, when you're sending links for people on the chat bot on Messenger or whatever, um, people, most of them have big thumbs and they might not press the right button or they might not know how to press the button. They might not know how to get to the link. Sometimes technology fails and doesn't send the button and stuff like that. You saw, you see what I'm saying? So I've tested it and I get higher open rates if I put the link directly on the message. So you can go to Bitly and shorten it if you want. Um, or, you know, you just send them to your fan page. So Facebook.me, because they're going to go to a Facebook Live, right? So you put the link directly here. Irresistible Latina AA, two A's on Facebook, because the other one was taken, slash videos. Am. And you could also say or click button below to join us now. Boom. And you have 1848, so 1848 characters left out of all this. And please add emojis, make it fun etc. You feel me what I'm saying when when I'm talking about making the messages SSC short, sweet and concise. Okay, so make them short, sweet, concise to the point and also talk like if you're talking to your friends. All right. Um, also tell people what to do and how to do it. So if you're going to click on the button uh, at the title, you could be as basic and as 
good and it's really good to be basic okay it's not bad all contraire it's very good because people understand better when you're like hey click here so you could say click here and then add some emojis on the button as well so like some freaking hands i like to use hands i don't know why <laughs> you can use arrows but i use hands let me um get the emojis from the widget instead of here from any chat okay if it would load, it would be fabulous. All right, here we go. Sorry for the internet. It's very slow since uh, I'm recording during the <laughs> uh, during the epidemic, and basically everybody's online right now, so it's kind of hard um, for this thing to be fast. Also because I'm in El Salvador and third world internet, okay? It's a thing. It's a real thing. It's a thing, thing, thing. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click here. Do that. Click here. And then we're going to put open website. And then we're going to add the website again. I'm going to do this. This is just easier. And then I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to add the website there. And you leave website view native. Don't touch that. You can add additional actions like tags and all that beautiful stuff to this broadcast as well. You can do all these beautiful things on broadcast and then click on done. And then, uh, like you see here, we cannot add more. Only one message allowed now. Holy smokes, that's a new change. You can absolutely add a tag or an action to connect the broadcast with another flow. But apparently we cannot add more than one. More, more than one message. It says, no, you can only use one message block with one-time notification messages. See? Okay. So here, and then we go next. We click on the bo blue button on the top right hand side. Go next. Boom. And then we got to make sure we select the right content type. So let's explore which one. Okay, so this one is not the right one. We select the one that says non-promotional or mixed content, which message tags applies. That's the one we gotta select, yes, because that's the one that makes more sense. Yeah. It says this breath coming Okay, yeah, because it says this broadcast can contain promotions, but the target audience is limited to subscribers who interacted with your bot in the last 24 hours. So this this one you selected when uh, you're going to send the broadcast to everybody inside the 24 hours. So let's say that you want to send a message after five hours, after six hours, after 10 hours. That's the one you use. But in this case, since we're going to send a one-time notification, we're going to use this one with the tag. And then we're going to select the targeting here, condition. Then we select like, one-time notification. Then we say it is this one, June Facebook Live, bam. And in this case, because nobody has subscribed to my to my message right now, remember we just did it, right? In this uh, 
exercise right now. We just did this on the video, so nobody's signed up here, but you will have people that fit the criteria. Then you schedule the broadcast. You can start and send it at that moment. You can schedule it for later. I would uh, program it and schedule it for later. That's what I would do. And leave the regular push because it's only one message and the time zone send all at the same time unless you wanted to time travel because it's a lot of people if you have a huge list i know people that have ninety thousand people on their bots i know people that have four thousand i know people that have a hundred i have no i know people that have a thousand you feel me like everybody has a different size list so if you wanted to time travel or limit sending time, I would because it just, it's a lot of messages to be sent all at the same time and it could get you flagged with Facebook, especially right now if we're in March, I'm recording this in March 2020 and the pandemic is live right now and we still don't know how, no, we know it's a big threat. So we are stuck at home and everybody's going to be on their phones and you don't want to get blocked by Facebook. All right. That's my recommendation here on my channel. You're always going to get the absolute truth and the harsh truth as well. <laughs> so I laugh because it hurts me as well. Don't think it doesn't hurt me as well because I don't like to hurt my ego either, but we have to, so we can evolve and grow and be better. So anyways, um, use those other two options when you are in that situation you have a huge list and you don't want to get flagged or banned by facebook okay so i would totally suggest it unless it's this example precisely that's a facebook live and you need to send it to everybody at the same freaking time then just send it all at the same time and um they already requested the one-time notification okay so you are legally allowed to do it according to the terms and conditions today march 18 2020 when i'm recording this video i got to say it for because um policies may change and can change and will change whenever they want them to change so um at this moment you can send them all at the same time and it's all okay um for the facebook live example um, for, um, other types of examples, like maybe e-commerce or, um, things that are not live in that second, maybe if you have an event, uh, it's always at the same time, right? But if it's not an event, then anything else besides a live event or a webinar, a masterclass, a summit, a, um, Facebook live and Instagram live and a YouTube live. Uh, Periscope, uh, TikTok that just went live. I don't know, whatever you want to promote, right? Your blog, your podcast. Oh my gosh, so many things, right? Um, in, in case it's not a live launching event, then you can use time travel and limit sending. All right. Now, once you select the right time zone settings for your case, then you go, you can preview it here. You can click on the white button that has blue letters that says preview on the top right hand corner or you could just freaking send it and just click on send and bam that is it that is how you use the one-time notification on Maddie chat that's how you set it up on your flows and this is how you send it to your leads that have the tag and that's it. I will see you guys in the next episode with another topic to help you become irresistible online so that your leads become your raving fan. I will see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe, like the video, share it, follow me on Instagram at Irres Irresistible Latina. Also, check out my other videos for more information and more topics on anything that has to do with techie stuff and marketing. I'll see you guys later on the next one. Bye-bye.